This person had a strange encounter while in the church basement. They said the following. For context and to give an image of it, the basement in this story used to be a fallout shelter and had many old things just laying around. I was in the basement of my church. I was assisting a member of the church at the time. For example, I would help out the procession and service. I was putting away my robes when I heard coughing. It was loud and it sounded like someone was in trouble and needed assistance. Then there was this rattling sound and the sound of metal stuff hitting the floor. The strange noises were coming from the bathroom across the hall. The neighborhood had a history of break-ins and problems. One time my mum's car got broken into as well, so I thought it could have been someone getting up to no good. Being young and naive, I thought I'd try and help. I went outside the closet room and called out, but there was no response, just banging and coughing. I took maybe five steps when the sound stopped. The toilet flushed and the door opens. The door opened and there was nobody inside. The light was off, the toilet paper roll was completely unrolled and the mirror cabinet was open. This black shadowy mass moved down the hall and passed me. I screamed and was really scared. I was only 13 at the time and I would witnessed something I'd never seen before. I ran upstairs slamming shut the door behind me. I ran to the pastor and explained everything while my grandmother tried to calm me down. And the pastor just nodded and said the following. We see that thing every once in a while. I have no evidence. Nobody but the pastor and a few of the old choir members believe me. I have no photos or videos. I no longer have access to the basement. I witnessed something that day that I couldn't explain. Another person had witnessed a shadowy figure and they said the following. While working in a retirement home, I witnessed a large black mass. I would always work the night shift and it was during one of these shifts that I saw it. This black figure walked down one of the corridors and I instantly had goosebumps. I didn't feel threatened but it gave off a bad feeling. I immediately felt a feeling of sadness and loneliness. Whatever this thing was, it was giving me the impression it was bad. The day after the experience I left. At the time it really scared me and to this day I find it hard to be alone while in the dark. So what do you guys make of these stories? And have any of you witnessed anything similar to this? Let me know in the comments. This person experienced something while trying to get to sleep. They had this to say. A few years ago back when I was with my second boyfriend, I had many strange encounters, but there's one instance that stands out among others. I used to have sleep paralysis and pretty bad nightmares. The same thing goes for my tendency to hallucinate in all ways. Me finding those things real made them all the more worse, and him having his own issues didn't help. All exaggerations aside, one night me and him were in my room trying to sleep. He was already knocked out and I was just lying there in the dark with my eyes closed. I rolled on my back to stare at the ceiling and daydream until I fell asleep. I often do this, however, on this occasion I noticed something strange. There was a black mass that wasn't in focus. It was like a blurred image, however, when I moved it became as clear as day. I stared at it in confusion and slight fear. It was a human-like body on all fours hanging from my ceiling. It was moving like it was made of liquid. It was dripping but the drops would disappear before reaching the bed. I didn't make a sound. I just stared as it positioned itself directly above me. Once its head was at the same point as mine, it did a 180 of its neck and stared at me. The face was white and its eyes were white with black spirals. Its mouth was constantly twitching and moving from side to side. It was moving faster than you'd think was possible, and the emotion it gave off was pure rage and hate. It extended its neck towards me, never breaking eye contact. I shook my boyfriend awake and hardly managed to squeak out his name. When he shifted in bed to face me, the creature darted into the corner of my bedroom near my closet. I hadn't moved my eyes. I was too afraid to look. I told him something's in the room. He looked at the ceiling first and saw nothing. So we looked around and once he got to the corner, he shot up against the headboard of the bed and quietly yelled out for it to get out. The creature very quickly faded into the wall, which rippled like it was water and was gone. I laid there completely terrified. He asked me if I thought it would come back. I nodded so he rolled over and held me close to him until I fell asleep. 
To this day, I have no way to explain what we witnessed that night, and I still have that creature's face burned into my memory. It's one of the scariest things I've ever seen. The paranormal interests many of us, and all over the world people encounter things they can't explain. This person keeps experiencing something strange in their house. They said the following. My house was only built in 1986, but before then it was covered by trees. I started thinking that my house was haunted when my dog's vision got worse. He'd start barking at walls, and would always watch one spot where there was seemingly nothing. I just thought it was his eyesight, but then he became fixated on one place in particular, my closet. I know it seems cliche, but my closet is the only place inside my house that leads to the attic. Ever since I was young, I always saw tall objects moving there in the corner of my eye. I never thought anything of it until I got my eyes checked, and it turned out I had 20-20 vision. The weirdest thing to me is the yelling. The first time I heard it, I was home alone with my younger sister. I was in my room listening to music when I heard a muffled sound. I took my headphones off and it sounded like a woman screaming. I tried to listen closely but I couldn't make out any words. I yelled down to my sister and got no answer. I then sent her a text and she said she didn't say anything or hear anything. This happened a little while back but this time with my mother. She came running up the stairs while I was just in my room on my phone. She looked worried and asked if I was okay. She thought she heard me scream for her, which I didn't. I wasn't singing or anything. Today I was practicing dance when the same noise interrupted once again. Just three series of screams and then silence. I have no idea what is going on and I'm looking for answers. So what do you guys make of this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Another person had a similar encounter. They said the following. Me and my daughter have recently moved into a new house, but something happened only a few weeks in. My daughter keeps saying that she can hear a little girl's voice. I tried to brush this off, but my daughter keeps mentioning it. She states that while sleeping, a little girl comes into our room. I have no idea what to make of this. My daughter said the girl is friendly, but she doesn't like it when she hears her voice as it scares her. I have no idea what to do, and it's starting to freak me out. On a winter's day, this man had a strange encounter. This story was submitted by Reddit user Neptune. They said the following. My dad has told me a few interesting stories from his youth, and some of them sound a bit scary. Though keep in mind it may be because I was very young when he told me these stories. I'm in my mid-twenties now. My dad once told me a story when he was walking to his childhood home in a rural area in the middle of winter. It was a private little road full of snow and it was around midnight. The town was very small and at the time it was common to return home from skiing in the winter. If you looked left or right you could see only forests, and you could see Ford somewhat okay, since the snow brightens the darkness of night. My dad saw someone was walking ahead of him in the same direction he was going, and then he saw footprints in the snow. Fearless as my dad was he tried to see who was going there, and sped up his walking to try and catch the person. The figure didn't come near at all and my dad started running towards the figure, but that didn't help. No matter how fast or how slow he went, the figure walked ahead of him with the same distance. My dad could see this person appeared to be a shadowy figure. Finally, my dad got out of the public road, and his home was nearby. Footprints came all the way from the off-road and stopped before the main road. Thinking what just happened, he went home to get some sleep. That same night, he saw his already passed away uncle coming to his room. It's thought he came quietly so he wouldn't wake my dad up. My dad has put forward the idea the figure that he saw may have been his uncle. Another user had this to say. I would always have this dream of me seeing a man sitting on this chair. The chair was brown and the man sitting in it was tall. I could see many features this man had, including a cane, a hat and a pipe. After having this dream so many times I decided to tell my mum. She couldn't believe what I was saying. I never knew my great granddad as he passed away before I was born, but my mum told me that my great granddad used to have a favourite chair, and that he passed away in it. I still don't understand how I could have known this. 
Surely the odds of me having this dream are extremely rare. My family have no way of explaining it. This person kept experiencing strange things in their house. They had this to say. I feel confident and safe enough to share this right now. It's been a while since these things happened, and my memory is not the best. There was this period in my life for one or two years where I felt like I was being constantly watched. It was like when you feel someone staring at you from your back, but I felt like it was coming from all around me. I attributed this to being a little paranoid until strange things started happening. These things would happen every two or three months. These are the two stories that stuck with me the most. Both of them were at night when I was in my bed trying to fall asleep. The first one is perhaps the strongest experience I ever had. I was feeling relatively safe under the covers and I had my lights off. My door was closed and I was about to fall asleep. However, I heard these footsteps coming from the hallway to my room. They were slow and it was like the person was trying not to make any noise. It sounded like this person had Crocs on. So I thought it was my grandma because sometimes she checks if every window is closed before she turns the alarm on. But the more I heard the steps, the more I noticed something was wrong about them. They were too rhythmical and too precise to be a human, or so it seemed. I don't know how to describe it. So when they stopped in front of my door and the door didn't open, I naturally got scared. The first thing I did was turn the light on. I sat up but saw nothing. So I shrugged it off and turned the lights off and went back to sleep. After a few seconds, someone blew in my ear. I sat up, turned the lights on, and these strange noises kept circling around my room. After the shock somewhat passed, I gathered some courage and ran and spent the nights with my mum. The second encounter happened shortly after the first one. This is perhaps the weirdest experience I've had, and the most difficult one to explain. I don't remember how I fell asleep. The only thing I know for sure is that I was trying to wake up for some reason. My ears were ringing and my vision was spotty, and when I looked to my right side, this shadowy figure was standing next to me. It had the shape of a hooded person, but it was unnaturally black. I lost consciousness after that and woke up the next day. These experiences stopped happening at some point, and after the fear eventually washed off, I was left with curiosity. So what do you guys make of this person's encounter? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.